In this video, I am going to show you how you can create this beautiful auto scrolling text marquee effect in Elementor. So here you can see I have this text container here and all of these texts are editable. You can also edit this uh, tiny star images here these are all the images and these are all the text elements so if i go back here and if i open the navigator tab so inside the navigator tab here you can see this is the heading and you can actually change all of these headings from here and right next to that we have these images so here you can see this is the image so you have the complete control over what you want to display inside of this marquee so if you want to learn how you can create this kind of beautiful modern text marquee effect using Elementor in WordPress, then without further ado, let's get started now. So the first thing that you want to do is to add a container here. So let me just create a dummy container here so that we'll have some sort of space between both of these marquees. So first of all, you need a container here and inside of this container, make sure you set the width as the full width. Now insert a child container there and for the child container do the same thing set the width as the full width now what i'm going to do is to copy a text element from one of these markets that i have uh, created above and then i am also going to copy one of the images from there so here you can see i have selected one text element and one image element here you can add your own text here and you can change this image to any image that you want anyways so for this child container what you actually want to do is to set the direction to horizontal and for the horizontal direction you want to set the align items in the center next up what you actually want to do is to select this first text element that is going to be first element in your marquee and then what you want to do is to set the size as grow and you want to do the same thing for this image you will have to go to this advanced tab and you want to set this to grow now copy this text element and paste it once again copy the image element and paste it once again i want to do the same thing for a couple of times so that we'll have like a marquee going on between these elements so you can decide how many elements you want to display in each marquee that is completely up to you so for example now i have this element showing up right there what i actually want to do is to uh, give it a class now in order to give it a class what you actually want to do is to go to my website i'm going to give you this link in the description of this video so for the parent container you want to give it a class of marquee so i'll copy this class from there and this is actually the parent container so you'll have to go to this advanced tab and in the advanced tab give it a css class of marquee now for the marquee group uh, for the child container you want to give it a class of marquee group so this one give it a class go to advanced settings and give it a class of marquee group so here give it a class of marquee group just like this now just duplicate this one time then select this parent container and go to the layout tab and change the direction to horizontal now it should appear something like this don't worry we are going to fix this using the css code you need to go back here and now copy in this entire css code copy this code then go back here then go to this advanced tab go to the custom css and insert that code here and as soon as you will insert the code, you will see that marquee will start to show there. So here you can see our marquee is loading just the way it should load. You can easily change all of those images. In order to change those images, open the navigator tab. So inside the navigator tab, first of all, you can select the elements from here. You can change the heading text from there. You can change these images. You can do the same things here. But you need to make sure you have to update these images a couple of times just because we have one visible part at the front and then an invisible part at the back or offside of the screen that is actually offset so let me just describe you what is actually happening here so for the parent container where we give it a class of marquee we give it a direction of uh, display of flex which is actually we are using the containers and then we give it an overflow hidden so anything that is outside the screen will remain hidden and then we give it a height of 10 viewport height 
you can modify this height or you can completely remove this height that is completely up to you then for the user select that is actually mean the interaction we don't give it any interaction then we give it a gap of two rem and then we give it a padding at the top and the padding at the bottom now there is another thing for example you want to have a skew effect in your marquee so already have that thing into the code you what you can do here you can see this is already commented so if you are a little bit familiar about css you will be able to remove these comments and for that you can um, press the control and question mark key on your keyboard and it will remove or add the comment in your code so here you can see as soon as i click question mark and control on my keyboard now the code is commented and now it is uncommented and on the screen you can see that this mark is now squared skewed so if you want to have the skewed version or if you want to have a simple version you can enable or disable this thing from here so that is completely your choice then there is another version of rotation that is actually skew and this is the rotate property if you want to rotate your marquee you can rotate it in this way you have the complete control over you can play with this value that comes with the degree translate x and translate y values that are actually responsible for x axis or the horizontal axis and the y axis the vertical axis that is completely up to you you can modify this code any ways you want next up for the child containers we have this marquee group right here the class that we give was a marquee group we give it a flex shrink zero but we give it a flex grow property there so don't worry about that align item center we want to align the items in the center justify content space between then a gap of two rem minimum width of 100 percent and then there's an animation property animation scroll 15 second linear infinite and reverse now here is the thing now it is the marquee is reversed if you want to if you will remove this reverse you can see now the direction is changed so you can keep the reverse thing or you can remove the reverse thing that is totally up to you next up we have some keyframe settings you don't have to play with the keyframe settings and then there are some responsive media queries for this marquee effect so in this way you can create this uh, beautiful animating scrolling text mark effect in elementor if you have learned something new from this video be sure to hit the bell icon and make sure to hit the subscribe button to always get the latest video updates if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you very much i'll see you in the next video